Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss a uh, numericals on number average as well as weight average, or uh, it is also known as mass average molecular weight. Also, we are going to discuss one numerical based on viscosity average molecular weight. The first numerical that we are going to discuss was asked in CSIR net in December. 2017 and uh, the numerical as you can see on the screen we have given the number of molecules and their molar masses and we have to ask to calculate the number average molar mass so basically now uh, first let us recall the formulas uh, that we have discussed in our previous classes that is number average molar mass is equal to summation of ni mi upon summation of Ni. So this particular formula will give us the number average molecular weight for weight average molecular weight. So either it is called weight average molecular weight or in many places or in many books it is written as mass average molecular weight. So mass average molecular weight is given as summation of Ni Mi square upon summation of Ni Mi okay and the third type of numerical that we are going to discuss is based on the viscosity average molecular weight that is we know that intrinsic viscosity nita i is equal to k m base to a so this is viscosity average molecular weight so uh, we are going to discuss numericals based on these three formulas so first we are going to discuss the numerical that was asked in a uh, net december 2017 and as you can see over here we have given the number of molecules that are 50 and 75 respectively and their masses are given 5000 and 6000 grams per mole respectively and we have to calculate the number average molecular weight so the formula is very simple that is number average molecular weight so we have given n1 is 50 n2 is 75 so it's first numerical and m1 is 5000 and m2 is 6000 so these values are given and simple uh, we can do it as n1 m1 plus n2 m2 upon n1 plus n2 so we have n1 n2 and m1 m2 also is there so directly we can substitute them in the formula and we will have 50 into 5000 plus 75 into 6000 upon 50 plus 75 and that comes out around this will be 2540 plus 4540 divided by 125 and that will be divided by 123 and the answer would be around 5600 grams per mole so this is very simple you just have to carry out multiplication and division and you can easily calculate the number average molecular weight similarly in the same if it is asked to calculate the weight average or the mass average molecular weight then the mass average or the weight average molecular weight we know it is summation ni mi square upon summation ni mi so we have ni mi so directly we can substitute and we will have 50 into 5000 square plus 75 into 6000 square upon 50 into 5000 plus 75 into 6000 this will be the values and in order to solve this particular numerical you will require the help of either say calculator or a scientific calculator can be done manually also but it will take a bit more time so first we can solve this both, both these terms then we will solve both these terms the solution of this is already known okay so we will have 125 into 10 raised to 7 plus i will have 270 into 10 raised to 7 upon 7 into 10 raised to 5 i can directly take it and this will be equal to this will be 395 addition of both this into 10 raised to 7 upon 7 into 10 raised to 5 so this will be 10 raised to 2 and then we will have 395 divided by 7 and upon simplifying it comes out to be 5642 point something grams per 
mood inverse so this is the mass average or we can say that weight average molecular weight and if we want to find the polydispersity index so polydispersity index is the ratio of the mass average molecular weight and the number average molecular weight or we can say weight average molecular weight and number average molecular weight so we will have m bar of w upon m bar of n so this will be our uh, polydispersity index and we have 5642 divided by 5600 so it will be one point something something answer will be there and this is the polydispersity of a given polymeric solution so this is how we can solve the problems on in which the directly num number of molecules are given so the next numerical as you can see over here we have equal number of of protein mixture containing hemoglobin whose molecular weight is 15.5 kilogram per mole we have ribonucleus whose molecular weight is 13.7 kg per mole and myoglobin whose mass is 17.2 kg per mole and we have to ask to calculate the number average and the mass average molecular weight so over here we have not given the total number of molecules but it is said that we are having a mixture which is containing equal number of all these three okay so we have given um you can write we have given hemoglobin hemoglobin that is it is 15.5 kg per mole then we have ribonucleus that is 13.7 kg per mole and uh, we have myoglobin that is 17.2 kg per mole so all this three data are given and we have also said that we have equal number of all these three so for such type of problems uh, where a number of molecules are not given but it is said that the molecules are in equal number we can take that n1 will be equal to n2 and it will be equal to n3 and suppose say all are equal so i can write it equal to n okay so they are equal to n and ultimately from numerator and denominator n will be cancel out one more thing you can do is that uh, suppose we we, are, we consider that total we have 100 percent then we have total three molecules so 100 divided by three or total suppose say it total is unity so one divided by three that comes out to be 0 0.33 so each of this will be 33.333 three, 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 and total it comes out to be one so in this way also we can solve it in this way also we can solve it so we will solve it by taking n so the number average molar mass that is mn bar will be equal to i can write n into 15.5 plus n into 13.7 plus n into 17.2 divided by n plus n plus n okay over here from both these three n will be common this will be 3n so we will have n into uh, and the sum of all these three will be 46.4 divided by 3n so this will be nn will be cancelled out and 46.4 divided by 3 it will be 15.46 kilogram per mole inverse so this uh, this type of numericals are very very simple and if you want to find out the mass average molecular weight then mass average molecular weight we know it is nimi square upon summation nimi so we will have n into 15.5 square plus n into 13.7 square plus n into 17.2 square divided by this will be n into 15.5 plus n into 13.7 plus n into 17.2 and this comes out to be so over here also n will be common out and we can write n into 15 square it is 240.25 plus this we can write it in bracket so 240.25 plus 187.69 plus 295.84 upon again n will be common and this will be 46.4 so both these terms will be cancel out we can take sum and then divide and answer comes out around so answer comes out around 15.59 kg per mole inverse so this is how we can easily calculate the molecular weight of 
the given or we can easily calculate the number average and mass average molecular weight of the polymers and many a times uh, these problems are also asked in CSIR net one more question is asked in CSIR net that suppose a given polymeric solution is mono dispersed so when a polymeric solution is mono dispersed then the mass average sorry number average molar mass will be equal to the mass average molar mass when it is mono dispersed then the number average is always equal to the mass dip, uh, mass average and hence both are same uh, this question was asked in june 2017 also and in december 2017 also so both this will be same so take care it may be asked in june 2018 also moving on to the next problem uh, that is based on the intrinsic viscosity method to determine the molecular weight and the numerical says that uh, we have given the intrinsic viscosity of a polyisobutene at 20 degree centigrade and the intrinsic viscosity that is nita i is 180 centimeter cube per gram so this is the intrinsic viscosity this, this will be our third numerical so the intrinsic viscosity is given that is nita i is 180 centimeter cube per gram and the values of the max hawking's constant k and a are given that is the value of k it is 3.60 into 10 raised to minus 2 and value of a is 0. 6, 4. So all these values are given and we know that we know the relation that is nita i is equal to k m raised to a. So with the help of this particular relationship we can easily calculate the viscosity average molar mass if subject to the condition that other three values are given. So uh, we, in order to solve this uh, first we will take logarithm on both hand sides. So we will have log of nita i is equal to log of k plus a log of m further we can substitute the values so we will have log of 180 is equal to log of 3.6 into 10 raised to minus 2 plus 0.64 log of m okay now log of 180 it is 2.2 255 that is equal to we can directly take logarithm of all this and it comes out around minus 1.44 okay we can directly take log and directly write or individually we can take log of 3.6 plus log to the base 10 so that will become minus 2 and 2 minus whatever value will be coming for log of 3.6 can be subtracted and value will be minus 1.44 plus 0 0.64 into log of n this i can take over here and directly add it uh, which comes out around 0 0.64 i will write this side so m is equal to i can take on right uh, left hand side and sum it so it comes out around 3.695 and then this will go in numerator so we will have log of m is equal to 3.695 divided by 0 0.64 and that comes out around 5.773 okay and then we can do m is equal to it will be anti-log of 5.773 and the anti-log it comes out around 5.9 into 10 raised to 5 grams per mole so this is uh, so this will be the viscosity average molar mass of the given polymeric solution clear so this is how uh, we can easily calculate the number average weight average and viscosity average molar mass one more thing that in order to calculate the anti-log okay for anti-log of the log will be 10 to the power that value so in scientific calculator we can do 10 to the power then 5.773 so it will become or it will be the anti-log and if we have ln then for ln it will be e to the power 5.773 so anti-log of ln will be e to the power so we can directly fit these values in the scientific calculator and we can get the anti-log hope the numericals were clear and if you want more numericals let me know in the comment box so more numericals can be discussed thank you very much